this is the coolest character I have ever played. <laughs> Plain and simple. Um, I, I've played characters that were made famous by other voice actors, and that was really a lot of fun, but this was the chance to create my own thing. Right. And then, quite frankly, Chris, when you told me what you said, it was the greatest compliment that any actor could ever hope for in their career. Wow. You know, that I came in and read lines that you wrote, and because of the performance I did, you changed things. I mean, holy heck, that's, <laughs> that was, I mean, I don't know if I touched the ground walking home that day when you said that to me. And the wow. greatest thing I've got to say about playing Tychus is you can stay up till five in the morning drinking scotch <laughs> and not have to worry about how you sound right. the next day. Right, right. Because it's always going to be. Actually, you have to stay up till five <laughs> yeah, in exactly. the morning yes. drinking scotch. Well, yes. We actually did have one session where I had really bad food poisoning and could barely make it out of bed, got into the car, drove to the session, spent about a half hour in my car working up the energy to get in, did the session, everything went great, and then took a, another half hour in my car waiting to drive home. Uh, but that, but it worked perfectly. Right. Because it's that kind of character. Right. But The pain and, you but know. But I've never discovered. had a character that I felt that devoted to. You right. know, it's, it's basically, there are 88 keys on the keyboard, and Tychus is one of those characters that gets up and plays 86 of them. <laughs> right. You know, and, and thank you, and to the rest of the StarCraft II team, to the artists, to, you know, and of course, working with the greatest voice director that's ever walked the planet. Um, this has just been a, a surreal ride for me, and I hope it goes on for an awful long, long <laughs> time. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah, D Dave, I was going to ask you, you know, about Tosh. Um, he, he was one of those characters that we... Sometimes the story demands a certain character, but what's funny in video games is that sometimes the artist will just conjure a character, and the visual design is so engaging that, you know, uh, you know we as writers, you know, go like, holy cow, like, we, we have to run with that. I don't know where he fits, I don't know what he's going to do, but there was just something so engaging about Tosh, and the idea... Oh, I can't tell you. Anyway, there's really good stuff with Tosh, guys. Uh, you know, panels like this are a bitch when you actually haven't played the game yet. Uh, just, just trust me. But Tosh was one of those characters with a visual design, you know, a bunch of, I think, cinematics artists were just kind of concepting out, like, wow, he actually started as a mercenary. Um, and as we got this kind of visual solution, there was just so much magnetism to it that, you know, we sought, you know, we sought out the, you know, voice actors. And the day you came in, I think we had tried a number of actors and you, you just kind of had this very dark, you know, kind of, you know, you know, raspy thing going on. We're like, oh, 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 that's, you know, that's it. Um, what, what was your impression of this guy? You know, this, this kind of very zany character, right? How many of you, first of all, uh, you, you've, you've never heard Tosh, right? Is it to oh, okay. I don't think couple, anyone's couple seen the video clips yet, yeah. It's a brand new character in the game. And Tosh, he's kind of got that accident like this man. And everything is very, very bad. <laughs> right. I like to kill people. Mm. <laughs> Let me cut him up. Indeed. And yet somewhere deep inside, he has a heart of gold. What? Way deep inside. Way deep inside. Tosh is a... I think he fits in with the game so well because he really is a product of the environment that he's in. This is a guy that, like I say, someplace deep inside, I think he, there, there's something good about him, but he knows that if he's gonna survive, it's got to be about number one. Yeah. And it's yet a rough he, universe. he has this thing with Raymond. <laughs> Not that kind of thing. <laughs> That's a different game. That's the expansion. So Tosh fantasizes a lot. You know, the Kerrigan thing may or may not work out, so it's, you know, progressive, I don't know. But, uh, the, uh, oh, hell, I lost my thought. We'll just sit. It's all good. we got time. Have a sip of that Mountain Dew. That'll handle that for you. You know what? I, it's, yeah, I've been freebasing Mountain Dew for, like, 24 hours. The, uh, the thing about Tosh, guys, you may not know, I, I know it's a little difficult not having played the game. Uh, it's hard to understand, um, just what his role is, but, uh, when we included Tosh in the storyline, the trick is, in a lot of ways, um, Tosh counters a character named Matt Horner, um, and the actor that plays Matt, uh, I think was out of town.